Mr. Grossman, thanks for talking to us. You're a psychiatrist, a medical doctor, and you've done a lot of work in child psychiatry. What is transgenderism from a psychiatric standpoint? The best way to approach it is by speaking about gender dysphoria, which is an intense loathing and discomfort with one's biological sex. They exist anywhere between one in 30,000 people and one in 110,000. It's important to distinguish those people from what's happening much more recently, which is kids that never had any um, discomfort or dysphoria, as it's now called, with their biological sex. And then quite suddenly, as preteens or as, as adolescents, they come out and they announce that they are gender fluid or they, they start to question their sex. So first, let's define the terms sex and gender. Yes, please. Sex is biology. Sex is unchanging. It's based on chromosomes. 99.999% of the cells in the body are marked either male or female. Gender, on the other hand, is a perception. It's a feeling. It's a way of identifying. It's, a, it's an experience. Okay, that's, that's subjective. It sounds like what you're saying is that if a man is male but thinks of himself as a woman, he's not actually a woman? That's correct. Male gametes, that's what makes me male. No, your, your sperm don't make you male. Then what does? It's a constellation. In reality, in truth. Okay. Whose truth are we talking about? The same truth that says we're sitting in this room right now, you and I. No, you're not listening. If I, if I see a chicken laying eggs and I say that's a female chicken laying eggs, did I assign female or am I just observing a physical reality that's happening in the world? Does a chicken have gender identity? Does a chicken cry? Well, a Does chi a chicken commit suicide? Let's Does frame it. Because you're talking, you're trying a to... A chicken has sex like any, like any biological organism. A chicken has organism. an assigned gender. But a chicken doesn't have a gender identity. So we assign female to chickens when they lay eggs? That's a, we that's... assume they're female if they lay eggs. Now, I was told that really everyone agrees with the current approach to gender and transitioning kids and all of that. And if you don't agree, that you're a dinosaur and a bigot. So are you a bigoted dinosaur? I'm not bigoted and I'm not a dinosaur. I am rooted in reality and in science. Whose reality? There's one reality. <laughs>